Summer is just around the corner and the water is getting warmer and that means sea turtles are coming closer and search and rescuers at the Virginia Aquarium say they've got their hands full. 13 News Now reporter Megan Perrier got to see firsthand how they saved the turtles and she's live in the studio tonight. Megan. Janet, with all these rescues going on, the Virginia Aquarium says you can help too and they're just a call away. Sea turtles are back in the area chasing the warm water, but some are now swimming in tanks instead of the ocean because of injuries. The turtles are in rehab at the Virginia Aquarium Search and Rescue Center. If an infection, we can put it on some antibiotics. If it's dehydrated, we can give it some fluids. Aaron Bates has worked on the rescue team for eight years, saving the endangered species. So their numbers have, have dropped dramatically in, in past years. But Bates says a lot of that is because of interaction with humans. They might stop at a lot of our local peers um, to maybe catch a quick bite to eat. Um, and that's when they're stealing bait off of fishermen's line and incidentally uh, getting hooked. Passing the time on a fishing trip could mean trouble for endangered sea turtles. Usually we see the most interaction when it's a hook that's maybe in the esophagus um, and they feel it every time they lift their head to breathe. Sarah Rose says the worst thing you can do is cut the fishing line. If you see any sea turtle or marine mammal in the wild that you think may be stranded, injured, entangled in gear, or you're not sure exactly what you're seeing, absolutely feel free to give us a call. After picking the injured animal up, rescue teams race the turtle back to rehab. So the first thing we do is a full physical assessment of the animal, followed by other diagnostics such as blood work, radiographs, or metal detecting from turtles to determine any secondary hooks. These are just some of the tests the turtles go through before the vet can clear them for the wild. And once they're cleared for release by a veterinarian, then we tag them and release them. This lets the team track the health of the turtles, even from thousands of miles away. Now, the Virginia Aquarium has phone lines open 24-7, and anyone is welcome to volunteer and join a rescue team. Live in the studio, Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.